everybody, and welcome to Book Nook's online story time. Today we'll be reading Flowers Are Calling by Rita Gray, illustrated by Kenard Pack. Flowers are calling a little black bear. No, not a bear. He doesn't care. They're calling a butterfly to dip from the air. Flowers are calling a wet green frog. No, not a frog. She likes her soggy bog. They're calling a bumblebee to look near their log. Flowers are calling a porcupine. Can you see the porcupine? No, not a porcupine. She wouldn't take the time. They're calling a hummingbird to sip at their vine. Queen Anne's Lace. Butterflies like a landing pad when they drink nectar. Monk should. Bumblebees are hefty enough to push deep inside a monk should flower where nectar is stored. That's their snack. Trumpet Honeysuckle. Hummingbirds use their long tongues to reach the nectar hidden in deep tubular flowers and hover as they drink. Flowers are calling a loud blue jay. No, not a jay. He wouldn't stay. They're calling a honeybee to fly their way. Flowers are calling a little moose. No, not a moose. What would be the use? Moose don't eat flowers, right? Maybe sometimes, but not usually. They're calling a beetle to eat their pollen loose. Flowers are calling a rabbit to stop. No, not a rabbit. It's not their habit to call a rabbit. He might grab it. They're calling a bee fly to visit their spot. That makes sense. The bee fly will actually eat the flower, right? Apple tree blossoms. Look how beautiful. Honeybees help make many of the fruits, nuts, and vegetables we eat by pollinating fruit tree blossoms such as the apple tree. There are also thousands of varieties of wild bees that help to make many of the foods we eat. Magnolia. Beetles have been visiting flowers for more than 100 million years. Wow. Violet. Bee flies look like bumblebees but have two wings instead of four. Like hummingbirds, they are able to hover their furry bodies in the air as they drink nectar. Yum. Flowers are calling a small brown snake. No, not a snake for goodness sake. They're calling a pollen wasp with nectar to take. Flowers are calling a fat raccoon. No, not a raccoon. He doesn't care for white bloom or sweet perfume. They're calling a moth in the light of the moon. Flowers are calling a desert deer. No, not a deer. He can't even get near. They're calling a nectar bat to flap over here. He seems really interested in that flower. Blowout beard tongue. These are blowout beard tongues. Pollen wasps, like bees, make loaves of nectar and pollen to feed their young. Cardin cactus. Lesser long-nosed bats have long tongues that can reach the nectar deep inside the bell-shaped flowers of the cardin cactus. These cactus flowers unfurl for just one short night. Moonflower and Carolina sphinx moth. Sphinx moths are expert flyers with very long tongues. Like cardin cactus, the blooms of moonflowers open for just one night and depend on the nighttime visits of moths for pollination. Flowers are calling a busy wren. No, not a wren. He's already seen them. They're calling some children to look again. Some children are in the garden now. Bee, 